Are you absolutely certain, yes or no? Did you see that train? You're darn cute I seen that train. It sure did go by my face. That's all I wanted to know. Mr. Conley, you were an operator at the Lone Pine Station, are you not? Yes, I am. And if I'm not mistaken, you were on duty the night of the 13th last month. I was. And heard an eastbound train. Is there any reason why you didn't hold 101 was coming west on a single track? Because there was no train to hold. That's why. There ain't nothing eastbound after dark until 11.55. Unless it's a freight or a special. Your chief dispatcher can tell you that. Mr. Conley, are you positively sure that... Sure. Close that window, please. Tell me, Mr. Conley, how do you account for not... There was no train. I'd know if a train passed my tower, wouldn't I? There was two a train. Mr. Harrington, I've been a railroad man all my life. When I see a headlight bearing down on me when I have the right of way, I know it. You bet. Yeah. Huh. Nobody's doubting anybody's word. It's merely that the reports and testimonies have been conflicting to the point of improbability. Tell us more in detail just what occurred, Nolan. Well, we were rolling along about 60 miles an hour. Axel, my fireman here, had trouble with the oil pressure. And when I turned back, there was a headlight bearing down on me at full speed. I gave my train all the air it could stand. Just had time to yell to Axel. That's all I knew I woke up in the hospital. Yeah, sure. And he was right there, too, Mr. Harrington. I saw the headlight. And when Smokey picked on the brakes, I pricked him to fly right straight into the fireboxes. Yeah. You can call it a goose train if you want. But it was a pretty good goose that can race a boat like this here. You feel it is hair. There is something the horse fell head about, I can tell you. Well, what are we stopping here for? Don't you know we're late? I've got to go and see Dad, get the keys for the beach house. I suppose you'll be all day talking to that rock-sized stenographer. Now, if you keep me now, waiting, I'll... honey, don't get haunting of the Andres. I'll be back right away, as quick as you can powder your nose. And it needs it. We've stopped at so many places since we started. I feel like I'm working on a milk route. All right, hurry up and get your keys. Hello, Miss Gray. How do you do, Mr. Harrington? You tell my father I want to see him right away at Gray and Port. I'm sorry, but he's very busy. They're holding an inquiry about the last wreck. Wreck? Was there a wreck? Of course. Well, that's a shame. But there's nothing like a wreck to wear out an engine. <laughs> I had to see him just the same way. I have orders to keep everyone out of there, even you. His own son? Which one of these men is forward of your wrecking crew, Mr. Reynolds? You are, I believe, Mr. Donovan? Yes, sir. Say, Dad, if you get the keys to the beach house, I want to get down. Well, oh, I've been waiting for one minute. Shall I question him, Mr. Harrington? Yes, please. Mr. Donovan, how soon after the wreck were you and your crew standing by? About two hours. I see. And did you make any investigation as to the cause of the wreck? Well, I took a look around, but I didn't have much time to do any investigating. Was there any evidence of another train having been there? No, no, there wasn't, Mr. Harrington. But of course there wouldn't be. There was no collision. And railroad tracks is railroad tracks, Mr. Harrington. And all they show is that trains can go over them. Tell me, Donovan, was there any identification that the track might have been tampered with? No, sir. If there had been, I couldn't have told anyway. When the engine was derailed, it chewed up about 50 feet of track. Perhaps the foreman of the road crew that repaired the track after the wreck might have observed something. Which one of these men is he, Reynolds? He isn't here, Mr. Harrington. We won't be able to get in from his division until tomorrow. We were unable to reach him as soon as the rest. Uh-huh. Well, send telephonic communication to get him here immediately. That'll be all, gentlemen. We'll postpone this inquiry until the other witnesses arrive. Say, 
Dad. Give me the keys to the beach house, will you? Sure. Uh, sailing yachts, Planting tennis balls, golf balls, polo balls. I'm getting tired of it. If you're only a he-man yourself, instead of a mere... Nincompoop. Thanks. You'll be down here where you belong, trying to help me solve the mystery of these wrecks. Dad, give me the keys now. You'll be a mighty sight later before you get those keys. I can't find them. But even if I could, you're not going to get them. You understand? Now that's fine. Why are you going through your pockets? If you should find an extra hundred, I could use that too. See here, young man. Before you get another cent from me, you'll settle down to business. Now that is fine. Reynolds, I've been looking at that letter again. A thought strikes me. Do you suppose those fellows that offered to buy our road, do you suppose that they could have had anything to do with these wrecks? No. No, that's impossible. They're men of irreproachable reputation. I've investigated them very carefully. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Oh, that's all right. It's not half as bad as the last one. Yeah, there's Hanson standing over here. Come on, and ask a prim. Swedish trains don't burn this. I don't care what happens. Come on, now, Swedish trains do burn wood. Do you that don't burn I tell Hanson. I tell him. Do they argue like that all the time? You should hear him play pinochle. Well, I should love to. Would sometime this week be convenient? Well, I don't think it would be for you. You see, Dad and I live at the other end of the division. Oh, well, that's fine. Think I can come and see you, huh? Oh. I have to be going now. Or I'll probably meet with a serious accident. Goodbye, Miss Nolan. I'll be seeing you. Uh -huh. So long. Dan, are you busy? Of course I'm busy. What do you want now? Nothing. Here. Say, what's the matter with you anyway? Nothing. Just bring him back to you, that's all. What's the catch? What do you want now? A job. You mean... You want to work? Yep. Oh, I know. You're right, Dad. Of course I'm right. I ought to go to work. You know what I want you to do for me? Assign me to investigate these wrecks. Fine. Fine. I'll send you out to the other end of the division. I'll write a letter to the superintendent... Oh, no. Now, wait a minute, Dad. If I'm going to investigate these wrecks, let me do it my own way. I'll get a job at the roundhouse so nobody will know who I am. It won't arouse anybody's suspicion. Say, see? wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you working for me or am I working for you? I'm not going to have any young... Whippersnapper. Young... Whippersnapper telling me what... Say, will you please stop putting the words into my mouth? But I want to handle this in my I own way. I tell you that every time but I offer to listen. say anything, you stop... If they know telling... who I am... Well, all right. It's okay with me. That's fine. Now, remember, you're Bruce Harrington from now on. And I'm your friend or something looking for a job. Very well, my man. And uh, this letter will introduce you as Bruce Harrington. Now, wait. The division head doesn't have to sweep up offices or dust off engines, does it? No, I told you all you had to do. That's so worse, is it? No, but it will be if your dad finds it out. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm awfully sorry. <laughs> look out, look out. Watch your step. You want to be able to walk down there? Boy, that was a good looking girl. Did you see her? I sure did. And I want to meet her, too. She's the daughter of Smokey Nola. Well, then you know her. No, but we're going to know her. Now listen. You breathe up and introduce yourself as Bruce Hank. And the old man will be tickled pink. Then you can introduce me. 
I'm beginning to see the advantage of being a railroad magnet already. Sure, it's a cinch. Yes, yes, I'm known. Well, I'm Bruce Harry. Oh, Bruce Harry. My father's president of the road. Oh, you're old man. Uh, you're Mr. Harry. Uh, well, I'm very pleased to meet you. How did you know uh, who I was? Uh, oh, I've heard my dad speak of smoking oil many, many times. Is that so? <laughs> oh, pardon me. This is my daughter, Caroline. Mr. Harrington's son of the president of the road. Says he's heard his father speak of me. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? And this is my fireman, Mr. Axelson. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. Won't you sit down? Well, yeah, you sit down, too. Uh-huh. Didn't I see you in my father's office today? Why, yes, I was there, but I didn't see you. Oh, uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, well, I, I wasn't uh, there. Uh, uh, <coughs> oh, uh, pardon me, folks. This is an old friend of mine, uh, Mr. Eggplant. What? What'd you say his name was? Smith is the name. I'm very glad to know you, Miss Nolan. How are you? My father, Mr. Smith, and How are you, Smith? Oh, how do you do? Glad to know you. You're traveling, too, I see. Yes. I'm on my way to see a pinochle contest. Uh-huh. You play pinochle? You bet, yes. I was the champion of Minnesota, too. Yes? <laughs> champion. Hi. Sorry I'm late. The old woman again. What's the matter? Doesn't the weather agree with her? That's more than I could expect of any weather. Good thing I brought that lantern along. Can't see three feet ahead of you. No moon. Yeah. What's the setup? Everything on time? Yeah. Everything but you. Hey, 101 lost 10 minutes at Morgan Hill. But he'll make that up before he goes by. Say. When Smokey gets back on that run, we won't have to be worrying any about 101. Speaking of Smokey, that guy testified at the inquiry that he saw a train coming right at him. What do you know about that? Why, he's crazy. They're calling the Phantom Express. Phantom Express. A train is either a train or it ain't a train. This train ain't. And we're the guys that know it. You're right. Wait a minute, boys. We're changing shifts. Another guy lambs it, you'll only have Red to take care of. All right, okay. Now, Nick's on the hot stuff. I don't want him blasted. <laughs> that's easy, just to tap one of the head and that's that. Uh, that's another thing. I want this guy to see the Phantom Express. Wait a minute, boys. He's coming out. Hey, Red. If you get lonesome, there's some ghost stories there on the desk. <laughs> Good night, Bill. Good night, Red. All right, boys, do your stuff. Come on, Bob. All right, and remember, no rough stuff. Okay. Hello, Lone Pine. Chief Dispatcher calling. Lone oh, Pine. Conley speaking. Number 101 has right of way westbound. Perfect. Bound to the left 45. Check. Better hold that freight train up on sight until 101 gets by. Okay, Chief.
by the way, uh, do you know where I can get a good room and board near the roundhouse? At the end of the division, you know. Near the roundhouse, at the end of the division. Yep. Now, oh, let's see. The... Oh, I would have to ask Mother, of course. But you can stay at our house and share tax room. How would that suit you? Oh, gee. That would be great, only <laughs> Nolan might. Oh, oh, one more would tickle her to death. <laughs> My dear, I just imagine after the two awful accidents that you didn't know anything for a long time. Oh, yeah. I was just this smart, this before. Is your uh, daughter enjoying the trip? Hmm, I guess she is. She's out there on the observation end with the uh, president's son. <laughs> yes, sir, the president's son. Hmm. talking to unless you did. <laughs> All right, Bruce. <laughs> Don't be long, children. Supper's nearly ready. All right. Isn't it strange that you and Mr. Harrington are both called Bruce? Yeah. Quite a coincidence. Is it all right for me to use these hangers? Yes, that's all right, Mr. Smith. Bruce is the name. All right, Bruce. Have you any sisters? Who, me? Mm-hmm. No. Nope. Surely you have some cousins. Nope. But I have an aunt in Brooklyn. Ninety years old today. Oh, dear. Now that I have explained the technicalities to you, Mr. Harrington, you see why we really need this new system so badly. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, your technical points are very well taken, Callahan. Uh, but I wish you'd write this out on paper and I'll send it to the home office. I'll do that, Mr. Harrington. But I, I wish you'd step down into the roundhouse and see how badly we really need this new water system. 
to the other. Then we can put a lot of little pipes uh, uh, from down from the main pipe, which will lead into the stalls. Now in doing that, we can eliminate a lot of boiler washing. It's just what I said. That's fine. Who did that? Hey, you! Come up out of there. Come on. Come on out of there. Yes, sir. Hurry up. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Callahan. Yeah? Well, you get a piece of waste. Get down there and wipe off those shoes. Oh, me? Yes, you. Hey, Monaghan. Get some gasoline. Wait. Hey, hey, that's the wrong shoe. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, come on, hired hand. Make it snappy. Say, what do you think these pants are? A roller towel? Well, from what they're hanging on. I wouldn't know. <laughs> hey, what's that white-collared bird hanging around here for? That's old man Harrington's son. Well, that's the president's kid. He's learned the railroad business from the white pants down. <laughs> well, it won't be many moons before the big bugs of this road get off their high horses. Well, it ain't the moons that does it. <laughs> it's the lack of moons. Is the butter melted yet? Mm-hmm. Here it comes. Won't oh, Daddy surprised when he finds out Mr. Harrington's coming to his birthday party? Lance, I hope those boys get home in time to get cleaned up before Mr. Harrington gets here. Mmm, doesn't that look grand? There. Well, here goes. There now. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it's lovely, Mother. Here come the boys. Hello oh, there. Hello, oh, Daddy. Daddy. Oh, what you got? Let me see. Oh, Let me... no. Come on, Jack. You gotta make it snappy now. He'll be home soon. Yeah. They didn't have a chance to test this train out. I hope it works. Gee, it's a beauty, isn't it? Oh, boy, look at that, huh? Oh. My dad gave me one of these when I was a kid. He did? Come on, come on. 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 Come on.
Wish you lots of luck. Well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Come on, let's go and sit down. <laughs> well, well. You bet, can I fix you plenty of smoke? Can I? Yes, some man I can do. Mrs. Nolan, I ate so much, I think the boiler was going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, wait, just a minute. Uh, I was appointed as the committee. Uh, uh, my goodness, I was getting so nervous, I feel a little goose. This people just waking up all over me. <laughs> That's smoky. All the boys, they put in some dollars apiece to get you a little present for your birthday. And it comes right from the heart, too, I suppose. And all this you, many happy returns of the day. Right. Hooray! Right. That's right. Good boy, Axel. Right. 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 Thanks, Axel, thanks. That's mighty fine of the boys. And, and, <laughs> well, it's mighty fine of the boys. <laughs> what is it, right. Come on, Dad, open it up. The boys ready to put in a thousand dollars if you want it. <laughs> the what? Oh, 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 it's oh. Nice. Hey, that's great. That isn't that fine. Just, just look at it. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Isn't that Let me see it, will you, Mr. Hankin? Oh, well, what do you know about that? that? Say, the boys like him pretty good, aren't they? Oh, look at the train here. What, oh, what's the matter? Oh, jump the track. Oh, poor little train. Fix it up, Jack. Come on, Jack, fix that track together. What do you know about that? Oh, you just Yeah. Give me the thought, huh? Fix that track together right in here. That's what did it. That's right. I think the party and the watch from the boys and everything has sort of choked him off.
Yeah, Nero. <laughs> Crack engineer. <laughs> Crack engineer. Crack mold. Pardon me just a moment. Pulled out of the service. <laughs> Pulled out of the service. Well. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, what is it? Tell me. What is it? Pardon me, folks, just a minute. I'd better go see what's up. It's all right, a few minutes ago. It's the matter, huh? I know what's the matter. An order came in from Reynolds with his charge nolan on account of the wreck. You mean to say that he's fired? Yes, I didn't know he knew it. Listen, Bruce, I oh, won't... Oh, no, it, I'm through. So this is the way they treat a man who's given the best part of his life to the road, is it? Well, the dickens with the road, Dad. Yeah, that's right, Smokey. They right, can't boy. do this thing to a man, Dad. It's not right. I'll be all right, my boy. <laughs> Never mind, Smokey. We all know it wasn't your fault. <laughs> Here, take a look at this. I don't know why the dead night to say that we'll have definite information for you shortly. Signed it, Bruce. What information have you? <laughs> you got me, I don't know, but it's playing a long shot, that's all. Mr. Harrington! My, that was a good dinner. Mr. Harrington! Mm. My goodness, I think it was a shame that they smoke in the street that around here. Why, he was the best engineer on the room. I'm sorry, but I had nothing to do with Mr. Nolan's dismissal. No, but you was the president's son. I'm sorry about all this, Miss Nolan. It puts me in a rather embarrassing position. Perhaps I'd better go. Wait a minute, young feller. Do you think the smoke gave us to blame for this? I told you I had nothing to do with the matter. It'll have to be taken up with the home office. Good night, Miss Nolan. Never mind, darling. Everything will be all right. Well, I guess I can begin over again. <laughs> no, you won't have to. Other fellows have done it anyway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dear. Now, don't you worry, Carolyn. Everything's going to be all right. When they find out the real cause of the wreck, Harry and State, you're dead. Suppose they don't find out. Oh, but they will. How? Because I'm going to find out. And that's a promise. Your fingers get so sticky. You're allowed to find it not so healthy around here. <laughs> Can you imagine that guy making himself to home in my coat? <laughs> Come on. Uh, we better report this to the office. Not yet. We've got to follow those birds tonight. But it, but nothing. We're on the right track now. The track the Phantom Express goes down. Come on. Mother, 
Yes, dear. It looks all right. Now, if we only have enough for that other window. Mother, I hardly think we have enough of this material. I think I'd better run down to the store and get some more. I'll be right there. I know I shouldn't have taken the liberty of coming here, and Dad would be furious if he knew, but he's so proud, and you see. Carol. Uh, I mean, Miss Nolan. Uh, I'll do everything I can, and perhaps we can have him reinstated. Certainly very kind of you, Mr. Harrington. I hope you don't think so. Oh, not at all. If I have to run down the street, perhaps I can give you a lift. My yes, if it isn't out of your way. <laughs> well, I'd be delighted. <laughs> I certainly appreciate it. These are great options you have. Don't tell me. Look at it. All right, I hope Slim was right, though. That's him now. Hit it? Yeah. He's got a dame with him. Ah, oh, what's the difference? Come on, let's get him. Okay. I can't imagine what's keeping Carolyn. She just ran down to the store for a minute and she's been down the lot. There she is now. So. Yeah, sure. Why didn't you go out on 101? Who? Me? Why, of course you. Who'd you think I meant? Me? Excuse me, Mrs. Nolan. I tell you, Smokey, I was thinking it over. And if you wasn't good enough for the road, I wasn't too. So I quit. You quit? You, you quit, I mean. Yeah, sure. I wouldn't fire for any other engineer but you, Smokey. To heck with them on the railroad. But I tell you what we should do. We should jump in my car. We should go down and have a talk with the president, so on. Well, it wouldn't do any good. Besides, he wouldn't even see me. Wouldn't see you? Why wouldn't he see you? Wasn't he here last night for dinner? Wasn't he? Come on now, Smokey. We should go down. Do this. Yes, come on for me, well, please. Well, maybe you're right. Come on, Smokey. All right. I'm a very good friend of his. Brooks asked me to take his place. Ready to go? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. We ain't got all day, you know. Thank you. Two birds were working Now, here. wait a minute. I was just talking with your mother on the phone, and she's awfully worried. 
Caroline left the house at noon for a few minutes, and she hasn't come back yet. They just told me in the office that young Mr. Harrington left with her hours ago, and nothing's been heard from her since. Yeah, I don't see Al's car any place. Oh, I guess they got him all right. Yeah. Come on, let's get in our car and get out of here. We gotta get a car right away. We'll miss them. Pete Grant, it's right over here. Well, now, what's this all about? Come on, I know where they are. What's that? Hey, there they go now. Let's yeah. wait here a minute. Don't let them spot us. My goodness, this, this sure is the lonely place around here. Say, Bruce, Bruce, what is that they don't there? Looks like an old barn. Come on, let's go. No, no, no. It'll be dark in about 20 minutes. We'll put off the lights and drive down there and surprise them. But suppose they've got Sis and Harrington down there. That's all the more reason why we should take no chances. Yeah, that's them. Well, you got him, I see. Yeah, him and his dame. Hey, what's the idea? Ah, uh, she started to make a squad. Not a bad looker, either. Looks to me like there are four of them. Yeah. Gosh, sure. And there's four of them? How do you figure? You and Bruce is two, and me two, two and two is four. <laughs> <laughs> The Phantom goes down the line tonight. Oh, baby. Oh, but I wish that was dark. Come on in, I'll show you a gadget. Yeah, all right, right, come on. on. What the dickens is that? Look. What's that? It doesn't sound like a car. Well, I'm a son of a gun. That's the Phantom Express, is it? Come on, go right down that road again now. No, no, time to hit it. Pick it. Come on, let's go. Give it to Axel, old boy, like this. I wonder who this kink is. Let's find out. Well, excuse me, I was just looking for the main road. Well, this ain't it. This is private. Can't you read a sign? Yeah, sure. My, that's a good looking car. Is that your car? Yeah, who wants to know? Scram. <laughs> well, it doesn't sound like a Sunday school picnic. I think I must lose my time for her. Let me out of here! Oh, that do numb child of this! Bruce! Let me out of here! Bruce! Jane, wait a minute, I'll get you out, kid. Come on, you fellas, on your feet. Come on, get, get in, in that car. Get hurry get up. Come on, hurry up. Go ahead, hurry up. Get right in. Go on. Fellas, come on, get in there. Get in. Dick. Yeah. I'll take Carolyn home. I'll meet you at the roundhouse. And listen, send Dad a telegram and tell him everything is okay. Uh -oh. Come on. 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 Come on.
on, let's go. Get him out. Hey, you. Scram. Come on, get going. Get that wire off the dead? No, I couldn't. The wires have been done. Callahan, I've got to get a wire off to my father right away. It's important. <laughs> I'm afraid you're out of luck. You know this storm has raised the dickens down the line. No, 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 I'm sorry. Everything is down. Traffic is at a standstill. Callahan, you've got to get me my crew. I'm going to get through tonight. I couldn't take a chance. I wouldn't accept the responsibility to even attempt such a thing. Little sort of shack. Did you get a good know? look at these men? Well, oh, I got it. I halfway saw them, you know. Would well, you, well, you know them again if you saw them? Well, I think I would. You can identify them, huh? Yeah, I Smokey, so. Smokey! Now, uh, wait a minute, what are you talking about? All the buyers are down, the automobile roads are down, everything. Well, what's that got to do with me? Mr. Harrington's got to get the train to his father by midnight, and you is just the man that can do it. You mean they want to. They want me to take a train through? Yeah, sure, come on. Oh. <laughs> All oh, right, let's go. You can't go out tonight, it's too wet. Goodbye. Goodbye, Carol. Come on. Oh, Dad, take your coat. Never mind. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, old-timer. You've got three hours and ten minutes to make a four-hour round. But if anybody can get her there, you can. Here, Dad. Come on. All right. Take care, Caroline. I'll be right back. Okay. You smart dark smoke. We're coming to a town. Watch out. See it, Dad? Yeah, see it, yet. I think it's Mendoza. And daughter. An hour and ten minutes out. I'm going to cut 15 minutes off my run. They can't get anything. Well, I've got to get a line through somehow. We're probably losing them. Get through. 
Sam. You made it the old field. I told you so, didn't I? Yes, you sure did. But it's not a sweet locomotive. We didn't burn any wood, anyhow. Oh, Smokey, lay off of me, will you please? Dead. 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 Here I am. What is it? Have you signed anything yet? No, I haven't signed anything. How did you get through? Smokey Nolan, I found out all about this gang. They're nothing but a bunch of crooks. Why, what do you mean? You know what I mean. You tried to swindle my father out of control of this road. Yes, they did, Dad. Oh, don't talk nonsense. I'm not talking nonsense, Certainly Dad. You are. They're a bunch of crooks, do you hear? Dad, Smokey was right. There was a headlight bearing down on him the night of the wreck. There was? Yep. You see, Dad? The Phantom's an aeroplane with a headlight on it. We saw their men go to the hangar, and when they opened it, there was a large plane with a headlight suspended between the landing wheels. And then, they wheeled the plane out to test it, because they were going to run it tonight. As the plane took off, the noise in the motor stopped. We found they had a muffler on it. In the cabin, the plane was a five-foot loudspeaker, which attached to an instrument board, an amplifier, that increased the sound a hundred times. And through this, they played an electrical transcript, which sounded just as if the train were passing. The thing that fooled our signal men most was a column of smoke, which looked as if it was coming from a stack. They only run the Phantom on nights where there's no moon. It was impossible to tell it from a real train. Are you sure of this, boy? I'm absolutely sure, Dad. Why, George, I thought this was a scheme. A wreck of men. They're swindlers. All proof that my boy can offer me, and I'll take his word against yours every time. Excuse me, Mr. Reynolds, but there's a couple of gentlemen out there in the blue uniform that's waiting to see you. Yeah, if you were... What do you mean? Come on, let's go out there. Come on, Come on let's go. Get going out. Come on. Well, we've been looking for you. Come on. Oh, Smokey. Good boy, Smokey. You too, Axel. Fine work, huh? Yeah.